What is going on, Oceaners? This is Blue Dev with Overclock.net. Today we're going to be talking about SSDs, namely M.2 SSDs, like the two right here. These two are the Plexor M8VG 512 gig SSDs. So these guys are rated at 560 megabits for sequential read, 520 for sequential write. So they're just like a normal SATA 6 SSD that you plug in with a power and then a SATA connector, except that you don't have any cables with these. Today we're going to be putting these in RAID 0 on the X299 test bench with the 7900X CPU. What I want to see is read and writes of north of 1 gigabits per second from an M.2 connection. M.2 SATA 6 SSDs still offer a lot of value, and for most people, they're just fine. But when you put two of them in RAID 0, now you're breaking speed barriers. I know I'm not going to catch up to my 950 Pro that I have on the bench already, but realistically, no one's really going to tell the difference in normal applications. So let's get these on the bench. All right, guys, we are in the BIOS of the X29 Tai Chi by ASRock. Uh, pay no mind to the Core i7 7900X. It's, seven, it's an i9, but whatever. Um, first things first, what you're basically going to do is tab over to the advanced section, go over to storage configuration, go down to SATA mode selection, and make sure Intel RST Premium is selected. That is the RAID mode. Once that's selected, you're going to mosey on down to the launch storage Opram policy. Make sure UFEI is selected and you're going to go down and start enabling your M.2 slots. Um, these will basically only say enabled or give the option for enabling it if that M.2 is installed. So once those are installed, uh, you're going to restart by hitting F10 save the configuration and wait for the restart. All right, back in the BIOS again. Uh, we're gonna go back over to the advanced tab and now Intel rapid storage technology folder just magically appeared. So now we're gonna hit create RAID volume. We're gonna label the RAID as RAID zero. Go down, I want it to be a stripe for maximum performance. We're gonna select the disks that we want to use. In this case, the two M.2 slots. It automatically configures the stripe size and the capacity. So I'm gonna be using the full one terabyte option. So let me just go down here and hit grade volume. So now you can see that we have a RAID zero volume. Uh, 953.9 gigabytes are available and it's normal. So I'm gonna F10 to get out of here, save. All right, so here we are at the Windows setup uh, screen. So here we're gonna do is basically hit next, install now, uh, and the next option is gonna be if you want to upgrade or uh, do a custom install. I digress, it actually wants my product key. I'm gonna to say I don't have a product key right now. Uh, Windows 10 Pro Home or Pro is what I'm actually gonna install. So we'll hit next and Accept, yeah, yeah, yeah. But custom is what I would basically make sure you uh, select. So right now you can see the RAID zero rate is uh, correctly configured because you see one drive instead of two uh, and with a total size being that 953.9 gigabytes. Um, so we are going to select new, hit apply. Yep, it's going to give me all these partitions. Again, that's my primary recovery, yada, yada. We'll hit next and I'll let Windows take it away. All right, guys, so here we are, we're in Windows, everything's all set up. Uh, we're basically gonna run two uh, benchmarks here, um, Crystal Disk Mark and then uh, AS SSD. So pretty simple stuff, but I just wanna do some live benchmarking and uh, just let, take you guys on for the ride. So I'm gonna hit all on this one. Um, you can see I'm just basically doing the standard stuff 
uh, the one gigabyte uh, test uh, on the C drive, 2% full, uh, nine gigabytes out of uh, 953 gigabytes filled up. So uh, right out from the gates, we are breaking that one gigabits per second mark that I alluded to earlier. I was hoping to break one gigabit uh, out of two M.2 SSDs. Um, this combination, I believe, is a pretty good value. You're getting one terabyte uh, for around 100 bucks a piece. So um, that's basically the going rate for an M.2 512 gig SSD. So um, the right is what I'm kind of interested to see as well, too, and see if these two benchmarks actually coincide with each other. So uh, I'll shut up right now and let you guys watch the benchmark. I'll speed it up as well. All right, let's talk about these numbers. So Crystal Dismark broke the one gigabits per second in the sequential uh, test here with a write of 771. So pretty typical, 4K had dropped down a little bit more. Um, Would have liked to see the write performance be a little bit higher than 457.8. Uh, 4K 32 tests, a little bit higher, 528.9 uh, and 459, pretty much in the same ballpark. So, and then the, um, the last 4K test was pretty abysmal, but uh, moving over to a SSD, 800 and 600, give or take. A um, little bit harder, I would say, on the probably the controllers, the RAID 0 volume. So uh, 4K testing, again, pretty abysmal. And then the 4K 64 thirds, uh, pretty close to what Crystal Dismark got as well, too. So, um, But all in all, having a 1 terabyte um, RAID 0 volume is pretty cool. All right, guys, thanks for going with me on the RAID 0 adventure with two M.2 SSDs. Um, I want to thank Plextor and Jensen3614 on the overclock.net forums. Uh, he arranged this with Plextor and have me review this and do this little fun project. We're going to give these two away. So if you want to have a chance to win one terabyte of SSD goodness, go ahead and Enter in the Glean link below. Um, keep in mind you have to be subscribed to our YouTube channel and like a few other things. So with that said, I'm Blue Devil. See you later.